Welcome to Answers. My name is Kofi Ochiaming, and I'm always your host with the most. Today, we are talking Exodus, major things that you need to find out in our quest to actually find what is truth on the show. And today, I'm speaking English because um, I have to. Uh, unlike the other days that uh, we broadcast in the Chi language, today we have to speak English because of my guest. Now, I've posed this question um, a lot of times on the radio that before Gold Coast, what was this country called? And we've never been able to come up uh, with an answer. Nobody has been able to come up with an answer that is satisfactory enough. And that goes to tell us that uh, it was only settlement. It wasn't a country until the white people say they discovered it and they put the name on it. And later on, uh, we also actually came together to form a republic and named it Ghana. Now, if that is the truth, then where did we come from? How did we get here? Who are we originally? From where? Which ends of the world did we all decide to come and settle in this western part of Africa? That is a question that is still to be answered. And that is what Osofo Kofiche Ahaji is going to help us to answer on the show today. If there's a possibility that we come from somewhere that could actually connect us back to our root. He actually stands firm on the Sankofa movement, you know, we believe that there are so many things that we have left behind that we need to actually visit because it's our legacy. Please help me welcome the big man himself. Osofu, you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. I, I suppose you're doing great today. I am trying to do great. <laughs> I'm uh, just uh, marching out of uh, some uh, ailment. Oh which landed me in some hospital, but uh, I'm trying. We bless God that you've actually honored this invite. Thank you. But why do you bless God? How can you bless God? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, okay. I, uh, okay. In what <laughs> sense can't I bless God? I mean, with my mouth, I could say, bless the Lord for giving me this or that. Is that not right? Who blesses who? Naturally, God blesses us. So you cannot bless God. If what you claim to be God is what it is, then you cannot bless God. Mm. So I Can cannot. you? Well, I don't have it to give, actually. Okay. So we but go it's on. become a way of you know, speaking. And we say these things. Yes. It doesn't make it so right. you continue saying the wrong thing. And say because <laughs> you didn't say it, you can continue saying it. It doesn't make it right, though. I, I understand you perfectly. Okay. Now, um, if, if you were listening to my introduction to our discussion, um, we've always wondered the kind of people that we are, considering the fact that um, we didn't have a common name for a country from the beginning. I don't know if you're going to try to answer that for me today, that before Gold Coast, what was this country called? What was this country called? Yes. Now it's Ghana. Before it was Gold Coast. But before both names. Oh, before it was what? Gold Coast? Yes. Who named it Gold Coast? Well, travelers. We travelers. Europeans? European travelers. So they came here, and uh, they named you, and you had agreed to that name. Mm. Uh, when we were holding the pre-discussion, we were talking about uh, Tolemi. Mm. You saw the Rosetta Stone, yes, that's true. which showed you that the Greeks went into the land they call today Egypt. Egypt. Okay. Then the Romans also came there. I asked you about Julius Caesar. Yes. And you agreed that, yes, Julius Caesar. And the Romans were also in Egypt. The so what called they Egypt. Call Egypt. Yes. And they started the enslavement. 
the Roman Pope or the Catholic Pope was then based in Egypt. Then he authorized people go and enslave. Because in the Greek Orthodox Bible, there's somebody sitting somewhere said, enslave the people. And they carried out that instructions. When the Romans came, they said, no, you don't just limit yourself to this. Go and find out where you can get all the resources we need. So they created what? The first settlement they knew as uh, the Grain Coast. From the Grain Coast, they created the Ivory Coast. From the Ivory Coast, they created another one they called the Gold Coast. From the Gold Coast, they created the Slave Coast. You know the location of all these ones. You know where Ivory Coast is. You know where Gold Coast is. The Grain Coast? The Grain. Grain, grain the coast. coast. The War of the Slave Coast. That I'm not too sure about. You are not too sure about that one because they decided to change the slave coast into the Gulf of Guinea. Mm. What was the meaning of Guinea? Guinea represented the black people. Mm. Guinea was for black. Then they went down and they created the place they called the Shrimp Coast. Shrimp. Shrimp. And the Shrimp Coast is what we know today as Cameroon. Mm. There's a lot of shrimps there. They say the people look like shrimps. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Cameroon. Cameroon is the Portuguese for shrimp. Mm. So you continue and you get these people creating names for people they don't understand. So when you go to their shrine and want to pray to your deity, they say you are worshiping the devil. But when they are doing the same thing, no, that one is not worshiping the devil. All right? But when a black man does it, a black man is worshiping the devil, so they have to cut the black man to size. And that is what they have done. Mm. Now, um, I, I, I am deducing from your presentation that you are of the great belief that um, we are not first Ghanaians. We were first some other people. What, yes. what people would we be? We were Abyssinians or Ethiopians or Africans. Who were blacks, period. Africans? Yes. So Who were the Moors, part of the Moors. Okay. You have a country called Morocco, which has been taken over by some Arabic looking people. And they claim that is their land. So now we don't have any land we can call our own, except the one the white man sees. Belongs to us. Yeah, he says, oh, I have given you this land, you stay on it. Mm. Any time I needed anything from there, I can come and take it. Mm -hmm. So they come and take anything from our land. And we are in a situation where we export everything to them and keep nothing to ourselves. If we want uh, this furniture, we'll have to go back to them and collect it and pay. Just like uh, the situation in the Francophone countries, that when they make all the money, it must be sent to the Central Bank of France. And when they need part of their money, they must borrow their own money and pay interest on it. So, the emancipation of the black race 
is something which is not put on television. I think um, the age has come for us to be able to uh, break it down to the lowest for any kind of people being black to understand the aesthetics of this matter and why you are seated here. So if we should know ourselves yes. and know our origin and the truth be told, who are we originally and why are we attracting so much hate? Why is somebody making it their agenda to keep us on the low whilst they rise? What is the meaning of all the oppression? Uh, it's a, the simplest uh, question which can be answered. You see that uh, about some, the claim is 200 years or something now. The Greeks claim the Icarus brothers were the first people to have waxed feathers to their arms and launched the world into the aviation age. <laughs> now, the Wright brothers of the United States also claim the same thing, that they waxed feathers to their arms and went on top of a hill and jumped, allowing them to fly. So they achieved that one. And now we still continue celebrating the Wright brothers. That's two hundred credit for aviation. Yes, but then two thousand years before them, and if you look at the imagery or the design of uh, the Mart symbolism, I believe you have seen the Mart symbolism. I, I know about the Mart, not the symbolism. Mart. Mm. M A A T. Yeah. Yes. What do you see? Is the woman kneeling on one leg with the feather on the head and the arms stretched out with the wings, the feathers of the bird, which was credited to the Greeks and the Americans? And then you will see that. The ancients along the Southern River Valley were the first people to have manufactured the flying glider. So it was not the Icarus brothers, nor the Wright brothers, but it was the black man who was living along that river body and who was flying. And in the flight, the king of Aksum said that when you are up, you will see the river meandering like a snake. So the image of the snake got onto the crown of the pharaoh, the king of kings and the conquering lion. So that is how it came about that they have tried to deceive everybody and they continue. And we go to school to go and learn the falsehood that they have taught us. They made us pay for this language. So we have to use it. If we can destroy it, we must destroy it. But it's something we paid for. So in answering your question, we were, we are, and we always will be. That is why Robert Nesta Male said, emancipate yourself from, from mental, mental slavery. slavery. We have been in mental slavery for too long. And we bask ourselves as being slaves. You saw somebody died somewhere, supposed to be a queen, and then we just take plane, we fly to go and mourn a terror. Who terrorized the Kenyans? And we think that we are being wise. So, before they came, we were here. Having driven our people away from our settlements, you will see the stretch I was uh, listening to somebody who said, oh, 
Akhenaten was uh, rather Tutu and Kuma. Okay. Hmm. The names ring a bell. But do we respect ourselves? We don't. We believe in all other people apart from ourselves. When we go to the bank to go and look for money, they won't give us. But let any fair-skinned man come to the bank and see the manager, they will give that fair-skinned man money. And they think that we are not wise, we are not smart, we don't, can't use money wisely. So, that Nigerian author says, our nation is in custody. Hmm. Now, Asofu, um, I'm looking at the situation from this angle where yes. we, we are great people, mm -hmm. wise and able. Yes. And um, we just look on for other people to take us for granted. First, invade our space. Did we put, a, put up a fight? Did we not? Why would we allow ourselves to be drugged in the mud in this way of money, which has brought us to this fate that we are experiencing? Um, in your earlier submission, Egypt was invaded, and the original people that actually owned the land has been driven out, and is now being ruled by other people. What happened? Why would we allow ourselves to be driven out of what is ours? Are we not strong people? Are we not strong people? Strong to what extent? Physical strength, mental strength, emotional strength. Couldn't we stand up to them? Uh, some few days ago, or just about a week or two ago, uh, a crew from uh, TV3 came to me and they wanted to know whether it was right for the people of Nungwa and Oyibi to prevent people from opening their shops whilst they are holding their activities, their ceremonial activities. And I said, okay. When it is Christmas, what do we do? We close shops. They say somebody died somewhere for your sins. You don't know that person. But you believe that he died for your sins. And you go to what you call a church and continue making donations to develop Rome, to develop Switzerland, to develop this. And you leave yourself. You don't want to do anything for yourself. You have a people in this land of ours who are more Buddhist than the celebrated Lord Gautama Buddha. And they don't even understand what the name Buddha means. They don't recognize the existence of snakes over there. The snakes which were supposed to have deceived Adam and Eve. The garden of so Eve. People are worshipping the snake. But you have been told that no, the snake is the devil. Leave it. They know that if you believed in the snake and you uphold the dignity of the snake, you will be strong. They said, no, 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 no. Leave that one. Some few months I spent in North Carolina... What did I see? I was in uh, an apology of a church. A young man came, he's looking for his girlfriend. And the pastor said, come and sit down. He said, no, I'll just come for my girlfriend. We're going. It's a birthday. I'm going to donate something to her. And what was he going to donate? A snake, a live snake, who donate to the girl. And these are the generation of whose ancestors told us that the snake was devil, and we believe it, and we still hold on to it. 
They drove our people away from the Southern Valley and they came and created a place they called Dahomey. Dahomey, the house of the snake deity. And if you go to Wida, Wida, yes, the snake. You go to Wida today, today, today. You have the snake temple there. Opposite it, you have a, a so-called cathedral. And when uh, one of the popes got there, he got down from his car. The journalists were expecting him to enter into the cathedral. He went behind the car to the snake temple and paid obeisance. By the time the photographers could come, he was up. He came and met them. He said, why did you do that? He said, that is where the power is. You have the power which makes uh, children. You create life. But you don't want to believe that you have that power to create life. You want to believe in somebody else's power. So, what do you expect? He realizes that he has fooled you. You no longer think. So everything he can tell you, and uh, you will believe. And you are still believing. <laughs> Why would anybody put themselves together to go on such a mission to derail other people, to take their minds off what is right? And why would the people also just accept and become? In this picture, in this scenario that I'm painting, it looks as if we, 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 we don't believe in ourselves. We don't know our worth. And that's how come these things are happening to us. You refuse to believe that black is beautiful. Don't you? I do. You believe that I black believe is... that black is power, black is beautiful, black is great. Yes, but when they came telling you and putting you into some four by four room and saying that is a school, so you have to learn our language and live your language. You believed it. Not me per se. My, I, I would say that my ancestors, whether forcibly or willingly, we, we cannot tell at this point. But I'm saying we have deities that are powerful, that even before the demons, they could have told us that, listen, the white man is approaching. This and this is going to happen. Do not agree to their terms. And, it looks as if history is telling us all of those things fail, and therefore they, they have been able to sway us, and we have only told to what their demands are because we've been defeated in the first place. When you read that book they call the Book of Samia, what do you see? A lot of things, but yes, it depends uh, on what you're pointing to. When you take the case of Hannah, and she went into the shrine, what happened? What did Ellie tell her? What's the point, sir? I, I, Your I, wishes will be fulfilled. Yes. The power was there. And when... Uh, but, but in my, the case of the African, I understand yes. your scenario, but in the case of the African... Who was uh, Samuel? The prophet of God. How did he become a prophet of God? I know him to be a prophet of God according to the scripture. But what, what was Hannah doing in the shrine? And what did uh, Eli tell Hannah in the shrine? Also, I understand so whatever that. Whatever you want yes, shall be done. Shall be done. So I believe in the shrine. Yes. I believe that there is power in the shrine. But you don't believe the shrine today. Today? Yes. Why wouldn't I? Because you have become a black European. Because I feel the shrine has failed. You feel the that, shrine has failed. Looking at the aesthetics of the matter we are discussing, mm -hmm. we are great people with great deities yes. who tell us what to do, even what who, is yet to yes, come. Yes, yes. They tell you what to do. Yes. Only when you ask them. When you refuse to ask them, to draw their attention to it, they are there. They look at you. But, but what is the essence of a God 
Who is so who, call, who called him a god? The deities are not gods. Hmm? You will decide to call them gods. The deities are deities. You have to consult. When you need something now, don't you consult your parents? I do. Yes, but when you don't consult them, you want them to imagine that you need this. As of are we saying that nobody in our history consulted these gods when even the white people arrived? Mm. Are we yeah. saying that? We are not saying that. We are saying that when they consult and they came and delivered the message to you, you don't believe the message. You don't believe the message. You but, think but these people that, are that, white, so they have the... <laughs> I've gone back to the very beginning yes. of all of these that we are seeing today. Yeah. Are, are, are we saying the sacrifices, the appellations we give unto these deities, the, the food, the festivals, everything will not allow them to tell us what is about to happen because we did not consult in that perspective, in that respect? Now, just let's take the latest scenario. I spoke to a reverend. He called me. He said he has been disturbed by the water spirits. But is there any power in the water spirit? I said, look at what is happening. Birim. When you have gone into Birim and you are destroying the water body, what did Birim do? And to the Achim people, to the Kibi, you will see the Birim running through the town, all the huge mansions and all, it was running through it. Now, we have uh, the Densu coming through Weja. And what did the Densu do? It went through Tetegu, disciplined them. When you are being told that on this day and that day, don't do this, it's simple. But if you think that you are more wiser, and you can build your structures in the waterway, what do you want? Flood. You, you want somebody to come and tell you that where you are building is wrong? The deity will have to discipline you. So far, I think our conversation, you see, we are it looking for... getting out of gear. <laughs> no, you see, I'm looking, at, I'm looking for particular answers. And I, I'm not getting there. Okay, what answers do you need? You see... It's only we, answers we, that you expect that you need. Okay, uh, go ahead. No, it's not answers that I expect. If our deities would have done their part of the deal, we will worship you. You will defend us. Simple agreement. Did you enter and into any in, such agreement? Is that not the agreement? Why do we... Did you enter into any such agreement? <laughs> but that is the general... You sat the down and uh, you allowed somebody to come and tell you that the deity you are worshipping after all is a stone and trees. And what and did all. the deity then, do about it? When I have been helping you all your life, then someone comes to tell you that no, I am not good. Leave me and follow him. And Don't you prove me. yourself as a deity? I want you to go. When you knock your head against the pillar, you will come back. But when you know. have gone to knock your head against the pillar, then and you are blaming the that's deity. That's a very wicked deity. That's, that's a very wicked deity. Because I, I am praying to you for protection. Yes. And my worst is happening. Yes. And you are saying that, What? I've turned my back against you, so you will not help. What does uh, the Muslim uh, God say? Allah. Allahu Akbar. Yes. Allah is great. But when they are faced with problems, yes. just like the Christian God of the Americans uh, will say that in God we trust. we trust, then they go around, and that same God says, thou must not kill. Yes. And they go and kill. They killed. Arabs, they kill everybody. Then you say that uh, the God of Israel is evil, he is not protecting them, whereas the God of Israel is helping them to kill. And your deity is protecting you 
And the things we guarantee the security of the deity, you are destroying. Now, now we, we've been taking Look slaves. at the... Uh, we've been looked over, upon. We, we, every dirty thing happens to the blaskened man. With our deities, with our beliefs, which has been demonized, our processes, our festivals, and everything, and we have accepted, including our deities have accepted. What kind of people are we? Yes, sir. How, how would we allow for such to happen? On which day were you born? On which day? Yes. A Friday. A Friday. So you are Kofi. Yes. What do you do on Fridays to honor your deity? Friday. Yes. To honor my deity. Yes. Um, that is personal. So <laughs> I don't want to put it out. Okay. You don't hey, ever see, show the source of your power, sir. Oh, so you have, uh, you, you have some power. You don't want to show it. Yes. You don't want the world to know that you believe in your deity. You believe in your power. You see, also, my, my issue is, it's the not de about... The deity must come out of his hiding place to come and protect you. No, it's, it, you see, it's, it's not about... Aside family deities, aside, you know, believing in personal deities, sacrificing to stones, to whatever, and attracting energies to be able to communicate with energies in those forms. Yeah. There's also the national deity. National? Yeah. Where did you when did you oh, create it's been a set on this platform? When when did you create a national deity? As I say, yeah. Uh, is it not a deity? Is it national? Don't we pray to it? Wait, is it national? Day? Yes, I think uh, it is. They pray on what? Independence Day, they pour yeah. libation, they call all these names. When was the last time you poured libation on Independence Day? Sixth March? You poured libation. During installments, uh, in the inauguration of presidents? We pour libation. We allow all religions. Mm -hmm. You allow Christians and Muslims. You don't allow traditional believers. Lately, you mean? Because I've yes. seen libation pouring on yes. national ceremony. Wait. During the Osaji Force reign, we were pouring libation. Then when you Christians took over, you Christians and Muslims took over. Well, you banned why everything. Why the Christian sect? <laughs> so, oh, let's generalize it. Say again. Are you not a Christian? I believe in God. Believe in God. Which of the gods? I am godly. Which one? The one true God. When you look at the ceiling, it's not the you, ceiling. You, are, you are telling me <laughs> the one true God you believe in yes. is up there. Yeah, it, yeah, it's up there somewhere. Up somewhere. I, I know. Now, let me ask you this simple question. <laughs> yes, sir. Have you traveled by air before? A lot of times. A lot of times. So you have been seeing that God sitting in that is kingdom up there. No. So there's no God up there. I don't believe that. It's a, it's a spiritual state. But when you say it's up there, where? From my foot? No. To when you head. are looking at your head, you raise your head. You are not looking at your foot. I get, you see, let, let, let's not veer from. We are not veering. From what I'm trying to establish and achieve oh, here. Okay. We, we, given that, a lot of people, traditionalists, who believe in our deities and everything had sacrificed and do a lot of things yet look at our plight if you ask me now this is what i think i'm okay. going to bring myself in here you are worshiping a, a deity you are sacrificing to this deity i've been able to come into your barn and i've conquered you and taking everything that belongs to you while she is looking, I'm marrying your children, you're planting, you're not eating of the field, you're doing this, everything, you have become my slave. I will ask who your God is. Because then, your God is much more powerful than mine. 
Would I be right in making that assertion? You would be wrong. In which way, sir? Because my God would have told me, take care of this, do that, do that, and I refuse to do it, and he decides to punish me. Then you say that uh, my God is wrong. If you are told, don't do this. It's, it's finished. If you do it, you will get the punishment. And if you are getting the punishment, don't blame someone else for your punishment. I think this is the reason. That you we, see we, the we Pra River. Wondering. Have you seen the Pra River? I've seen it. If Pra is not giving you the thing you want, you have to blame Pra. Be pra. Yeah? You have to blame Pra for not giving you what you want. I saw someone fishing in the Pra River and he said, now because of uh, Galamse and all these things, he can't get fish. Did the fish create the Galamse? No. Yes. So when but you do things which are... As Pra is, if a Chinese man or a Ghanaian is overstepping boundaries, everything that deity believes in, likes and dislikes, as powerful as he is, he couldn't fight for it, sir. Oh, you want the deity to get up and fight. When you, the custodian, you are performing the rituals to nullify his energy and allow the Chinese to come and destroy it. You see, that's the, my all problem. The, all the deity will do, you want the punishment, the deity will move out of that environment. You continue. And you come and you reach see, a stage where you realize then, that you are Then you see yourself. why people have bought into the, the, the Christian religion. Because now, your, your deities are saying that because you, you wronged me, I'll step aside for somebody from nowhere to consume you. But on the other hand, the European is ad advertising a God that said I'll forgive you 777 times. And does the European God forgive? Oh, are we not alive? Are we not sinning every day? Oh, we are sinning every day. Christians are sinners. <laughs> <coughs> they are yes. sinners. The churches are workshops. Workshops, and they you now go fix yourself. And they are they are allowing you to sin. So this God is saying that. Look at the bargain here. Your deity says, you wronged me. Let these people kill you for not understanding or obeying mm. or paying heed to my word. The other God, the Christian God, is saying, listen, I'm giving you the chance to repent. Repeatedly. Giving these two presentations, anybody, everybody, would choose the Christian God. Don't you think so? Mm. I will just answer you with a simple question of a gentleman who has become, who claims he has become a chief, but he used to be a traditional herbalist and what have you, and now he has bent all the 77 energies he has, and he has become a Christian. But what does he do? He defrauds people. Hmm? Mm -hmm. There's somebody who has the ABC of how to communicate with the deities. Now he has become a Christian, and he does negative things. Mm. But the Christian Bible says thou must not steal, isn't it? Mm. And he is stealing. And the Christian God agrees that you must steal. Mm. But the tradition... You say it by grace? Hmm? Grace. Mm. Oh. The traditionally says this one, don't do it. If you do it, you will get the punishment. Mm. And if you do it, you will get the punishment. And you say the traditional one is more dangerous. You see... Why are you quick to punish and so reluctant to save? When I have asked you, don't do it. It simply means don't do it. Don't do it and expect that I will forgive you. So in a nutshell, are you saying that Africa, we are suffering the plight we are suffering because we did not obey our gods? Have we been obeying? No, no, no. Can I, can look, I summarize look, look, look our at, conversation? Look at, look at uh, the Boko Haram scenario. Yes. Are they obeying? 
Hmm. I have a video of somebody just cutting the Slashing throat. Slashing the throat of another person. And he says, Allahu Akbar. Hmm. America goes to bomb Libya. In God we trust. How many people die out of uh, the alleged wickedness of uh, an African deity compared to what the Christian God does? Now, how is that different from a deity demanding human blood just to bury Where? a dead king? Where do they demand human it's in blood? It's the tradition, it's in the culture, sir. Where, 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 where have they been? That when a king dies, seven heads must follow to the grave. Where, where, did, they, where did they write that one? Written? Yes. It's practiced. We see this. Oh, you see it. I haven't seen any. Oh, and so I full. don't believe that uh, that thing happens. You don't? No. I have a video. You have a video? Of a man sitting on one of the networks. Yes. Claiming he's killed, he's buried pregnant women alive. Just so somebody can have a certain kind of power. So looking at and and what did you African traditional religion. no what did you do when uh, he came oh the matter is still being discussed we we are we're actually looking at the police acting on that but they'll call it spiritual then they'll tell you that the court does not sit on spiritual matters that is not spiritual when you are burying people alive or killing people this guy sits on TV and says he's killed a lot of people for for spiritual purposes. And the police are still looking into it. I am. He's I am, receiving I am attention. Astonished. I am amazed that he's still walking. If he is not one. And of it them. wasn't a mere platform. This is a major platform here in Ghana. And the police have not heard. So my issue is yes, in you finding want, you ourselves. want the deities to <laughs> jump out of their closet and come and help you. <laughs> Because they have powers that we don't have, and they've not done that. And the white man is taking us for granted. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry has seen the loopholes, and they've taken advantage of us. Why? 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 Because you don't have the faith to believe in the powers of your deity. You don't consult your deities. And if you do consult them, and you call upon them, they will answer you. So, in summary, we've been driven out of Egypt, our lands have been taken, Darfur, Cameroon, or, or everywhere in you the see, world. today? Yes. What's today's date? Today is the 22nd of October. What's the significance of today? I don't know. The Ark of Ra in Luzo today the white people have taken over the worship pattern in Luzo. The grand united order of odd fellows are celebrating the day of the sun today. But what are you celebrating? When we are in the Ark of Ra, you are not celebrating anything. You even don't know that today is a significant day in the history of our ancestors that they call upon Amen Ra to come to their aid. You have abandoned all that one. And when you have abandoned calling upon your ancestral energy, so long will they forget that you even existed. I got a call from Zambia this morning and they want to do. The young man says that his late mother comes to him in a dream and talks to him, do this, do that. But uh, he has forgotten, he said, you, if you have power, you will not have died. You are a fool. There are two energies which make one person, the spiritual and the physical. The physical you claim is dead, you have gone to bury. But the spiritual, what have you done? Ever since your mother died, have you called upon her? Said no. She only comes to me in a dream. The other time she came with a crocodile and says that she hold the tail. Then I heard the tail. Then I woke up. Said go back and call your mother. Whatever is worrying you, 
Tell her, she will answer you. Why do you dream? You dream because that energy which left your physical space is come back. It wants to help you. You don't want that help. Then some people will get up and say, I have become a king, so I must this, that, that should happen. No, they don't happen that way. Everything goes according to law. The law of nature must be respected. Don't get up and be cutting down trees, destroying water bodies, and think that the deities will ever come to help you. A Chinese comes, and you help the Chinese to destroy your water body, and you say that, oh, uh, it is not me, who. if it is not you, who? The Chinese man cannot fly from his country and come to your country and come and destroy your water body, if you are not part of it. He said, I am a Christian. Because I am a Christian, anything can happen. No. Please, respect yourself. Let us recognize that we have been put here not by mistake. Whatever has been given unto us to do, let us do our part. And then we will expect the deities to do the rest. But if we want to sit down, and dance in semicircles and expect deities will come and help us, we will not get anywhere. It's a give and take affair. What you give exactly is what you will get, according to Osofo Haji. Uh, that should be the case. That if you're looking for the external forces to take you out of your plight today, you have to go back to what you have left because that is what was holding you together in the first place. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for thanking for, me. <laughs> for coming to uh, actually share knowledge with us. My, uh, my name is Kofi Ochami, and um, I've been your host. So I'll see you next week on another matter. But if, if you just join us at this tail end of the show, you can actually go on YouTube, and it's going to be there. Video on demand. You can watch it all over again, and I'd like to see you comment. Don't forget, subscribe, like and share. Have a good one.